Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on what time zone you're in or what time you're watching this video. Today we're back with Ren, Hold On. I've heard this song a few times in passing, um, and then I heard it when he did it live, and I was like, okay, I need to to eventually dig into this song because I'm very excited to do that. Um, so hope that you are too. Love you all. Without further ado, let's jump right in, shall we? Let's go. I got tears on my sleeves, hold on I love the and bass slides in there jeans, Hold on, I haven't slept in weeks, hold on I haven't found no peace, hold on I get my teeth tied, hold on And these tears run dry, hold on Two bloodshot eyes, hold on A Two bloodshot eyes I don't belong here, in a place where life has mm. left me I'm 25 going on 150 My body feels old and I'm trying to lift the Weight from my soul but it's moving against me I've emptied out my tears I lift my middle finger up, I'm screaming Fuck you to all the demons here that keep me stuck The pain is sharp like paper cuts, I hate them much But yes, I trust the monster, can bust the monster Blow up a monster, roll this coverage up Boom, sparks fill Bro, that's so fire Because it really, it really helps you paint a picture Of just how, like, how much stress he's going through at this point How difficult life is Like, he's he's feeling like he's 120 Like, his body feels like it's falling apart And you, you don't know if it's the weight of the world on his shoulders Like, the weight of his, all of his thoughts or it's also like just all the things he was going through in terms of disease, in terms of mental stresses, all of that combining. And it is probably a combination of all those things, but it makes him feel so heavy and it makes him feel so lethargic. But against like it, the way that he's rapping is such a juxtaposition of that because you get this like crazy flow freestyle rapping with this idea of him feeling sluggish and like just lethargic. And that's so cool to blend those two ideas together. Damn. Must blow up, must have rolled this coverage up. Boom, sparks fill the room. I'm feeling the rhythm I move. My soul is more worn than the soles in my shoes. Nike trainer blues, a man with none to lose. I think I lost my sanity, calamity in shoes. Poor choice maker. I'll rip out the pages of fate, then I roll them up like fizzle of paper. Take a lung full of destiny, a man with no part. It's a very strange entity. Tears Bro, even that, he gives you the imagery of like writing lyrics, but also the imagery of like marijuana, where it's like he's. His his drug is music, right? He's like rolling up the paper and it's filling his lungs. And it's like, literally, you combine that. Those are two very, like, applicable things to both, right? Because it's like either he's rolling up paper to, to go and smoke or he's he's writing on paper and it's literally, it's his lungs. It's, 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 it's so integral to him. It's like the air that he breathes. And that's what it feels like to him when he writes. And that's so brilliant to kind of juxtapose those because you know that he was probably doing both at the time. Or, or was at some point and like it's the idea that it's so music to him is like a drug it's what fuels him it's what keeps him going it's like this addiction that he has but it's such a powerful addiction it's probably fantastic for us because like we get this kind of music as a result bro it's a very strange entity tears on my sleeves hold on and holes in these jeans hold mm. on i haven't slept in weeks hold on i haven't found no peace hold on i get my teeth tied hold on and these tears run dry hold on two bloodshot eyes hold on a two bloodshot eyes do you ever question your fate the questions i'll make is this all predetermined the script or a play am i the protagonist in this tragedy or will i be the author of stories unmade if so, I'll dip in my quill to my ink pot Keep on writing, never stop until my beating heart it flops I'll write a whole different story Scene one, a boy full of hope A boy full of glory Who's the stutters? I'm a oh, the top of I love that idea too It's like, you know, like so many times you Many people probably like have this experience But like you begin to question like Are you just playing a role Or are you actually in charge of your own story? Is it fate? Or are you writing your own like actual actions you know what i mean and it's like these thoughts that cloud him and, and make him wonder especially because of all the things that he's suffering from it's like did i put myself here did i choose for this or is this just life kind of taking its swing at me and those are the kinds of ideas that you get when you're especially when you're experiencing a disease like this where it makes you wonder like what did i do to put myself here or why is like why am i having to suffer through this and is there a way out for me for this because i want to write my own story i don't want this to be my story i want to go beyond this and this is exactly what he does he goes beyond it to write his own story eventually getting to the point that we know him now as this amazing music creator who's gotten through the troubles uh, as far like to a certain extent 
of of like just all the things he was suffering through and is in a better place mentally, physically, spiritually, and now he's taking control. And that's brilliant because it is like this question that he had, but now he's finally able to take that control and get in charge of his own life and become the the actual author. And that's cool. That's so smooth. Oh. And a boy full of hope, a boy full of glory. Who's the 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 you know he had a stutter, and uh, and that's kind of what he puts into the music. And it's like no shame. Like let's let I'm gonna put that in my music. Let people know that you know what. Yeah, I suffered through that too, and that's beautiful because he owns it. He owns it, and that's what that's what makes him so courageous. Is that like he takes that step to be like, yeah, this is the stuff that I've gone through. This is how it felt. This is how it feels now, and and that, like, the progress that you see, and it, it inspires you to be better too. And it's so brilliant. Author of stories and made if so I'll dip in my quill to my ink pot Keep on writing, never stop until my beating heart it flops I'll write a whole different story Seen one, a boy full of hope A, a boy back. full of glory Who's the stutters? St 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 I'm under the top, would rather be tougher And live it smoothly like butter But not so bitter and cut up And so I sit up and shut up It's like a lift up and struck up The courage never to fuck up And now I'm feeling the ruckus Feeling the static and now I'm feeling the flames And now I'm feeling the strength inside the ring with my pain My boxing gloves and my hope that I trust To bust an uppercut, cut my demon up, bro, like it's, I love this part, bro. It's like he he realizes that like he he became so infatuated with the idea of being courageous. Like courageous felt like taking the pain and just standing there with it and just holding on to it. But now he realizes that no, you got to fight back. You can't let it like just take you apart like this. You can't let it affect your life to the, to the state that it has been. And you have to own it. And those demons that you have in the back of your mind that keep whispering these dark things to you, you got to destroy them. And so he hits him with an uppercut and he keeps on going. Uppercut in the sense he's going up because he's going beyond where he was, but also in the sense of fighting. Brilliant. Friggin' brilliant, man. You could literally spend like a whole like a like a breakdown of this section here. It's so good. One of the things that I really like is like a folded lyrics like origami because he takes words and makes them into these beautiful shapes that you've never seen before. Like even though people might have used the same ideas. Never have they been presented in the way that they are by Ren, and that's brilliant. What a great way to say that. And he feels like, he said, um, Charlie Golden Ticket, because it's like he feels like he's the, the one guy that actually got a chance from, like, just being a normal person to becoming who he is, like, Ren. Like, Ren is Charlie from Chocolate Factory. He now is, like, such a brilliant, world-renowned artist, and it all came from humble beginnings. And that's beautiful. I mean, humble... To a certain extent, but you know what I mean. That's brilliant. Just the sheer power that his 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 lyricism and his his music has. Wouldn't take it, call me Charlie Biden, Harley Spin Gully, Tiger Star, call me Arnie. I caught the slack, track your facts, relax, you're in the beast, and then seek you in the peace. And I'll reach the canopies, and yes, we climbing, building a brave new world inside a whole new design. And with all this fire, we burn like the sun. A new dawn is rising, a new dawn it comes. Yeah, dig it, dig it down with all this corporation. They burn up the land for the greed that they run. Run deep with their roots, but their roots can be lifted. I'll be your renegade, yes, I'll make a fist kid. Try to seek truth in the kingdom of lies. Boy, so lost with two bloodshot eyes. Tears on my sleeve. Oh, and we're back to the chorus because we're in two bloodshot eyes, and again, we're back here. And it's like bloodshot because of what we talked earlier about, like how we can compare his music to drugs because of the addiction that he has to it, or bloodshot from crying because of all the pains that he's suffered through. And it's like you don't know which one, but maybe it's both, probably is. And then I love that this is like you still get that sense of who Ren is, it's like standing up to these these ideals that are being held by society that are not at all like good for anybody well it's good for the people who make them but not good for the general populace and it's not good for the progress of humanity and and yet we don't see that and so still even in this moment where he's suffering through all this stuff he he takes time to say listen amidst all the stuff that i want to put out there about myself Remember that there's all these other problems out there that we need to deal with, and we need to deal with them fast as a part as one people, and that's brilliant. 
What a great way to add, like, just so good, man. Two bloodshot eyes, tears on my sleeves, hold on, and holes in these jeans. And he literally hold wears on, tears on his sleeves, like, oh. Hold on, I haven't found no peace. Bro. Hold on, I get my teeth tied, hold on, and these tears run dry. Hold on, two bloodshot eyes, hold on, a two bloodshot eyes. Woo! Forgot about the breakdown. Ooh, that didn't, didn't, ooh. And doesn't this feel like kind of what he wants to do with music is like just completely change what you expect so what you've got at the start is completely different from what you get at the end. He wants to transform it like origami. Goes back to the lyrics. Oh, so sick. Jeez, man. Oh, Ren is just like 10 out of 10. You know what I mean? Ren out of 10. Ren out of 10. Because he is phenomenal. Every time he drops, it's just like amazing. But like even going back through some of his older stuff like I'm doing now, like it's just brilliant to see his writing is so beautiful. It's so brilliant. It, it literally is transformative of all of music of art and and you get such just a a brilliant sense of the person that he is and I, I actually didn't think about it when i was listening to the chorus here but like he says tears on my sleeves or it's like i you're wiping your te tears with your sleeves but on top of that is like you know how people wear their hearts on their sleeves he's wearing his tears on his sleeves so his pain is there for all to see for us to all almost like indulge in you know in like uh, an inspirational way in a way that pushes us forward by having the opportunity to see all that that we might not get to see in like artists that don't talk about their feeling don't talk about the things that they're going through and just kind of give you that pop regular stuff that just is like yeah party and cars money all that stuff all day but no ren's not like that he's literally he's he's different he hits different and even the art here it's like it's like the image of a person and it's almost like being splattered by water or rain but you could almost think of it as tears and it's causing the image to shift and that's how he feels is like the pains that weighed him down almost caused his, him to shift as a person but then he stood up against his demons he stood up against his fears and he bashed his way through back to the wren that we see today and that's brilliant fantastic jeez man i hope that you enjoyed it too because that was phenomenal um, hope that your week is better than your day, your month is better than your week, and your year is better than your month. Love you all, and I will see you on the next one. Damn.